Hello, my name is James, and as I found out yesterday, Scarlet Nexus has a demo out on the Xbox One. Was not expecting this. Apparently the PS4 version is getting a demo next week, but because of Microsoft's deal with Bandai, the game's coming to Xbox out on demo first by the sounds of things. So yeah, I don't really know what the demo has to offer, so I'm just probably going to measure some bits of whatever my PlayStation is. By the looks of things, we may have access to both characters. It, uh, yep, let's just, yep, sell my soul, it's fine. I didn't need it anyway. Yep, colours are fine, English voices, sure, if they're bad I can change it to Japanese. You can change the difficulty, that is honestly surprising. Analytics. Oh, this is just, okay. Just, I guess I'm just agreeing not to pirate the game. So there's three difficulty menus, uh, options, easy, normal, hard, auto lock on, mini map display and rotation, subtitles, camera sensitivity, I'll probably play around with that, pretty standard controls, nothing special, and then you've got all the attacks and whatnot, so I guess let's just jump in and see. Okay great, we do get to pick which character we want to play as. Yuito Sumarage. I'm not going to read a story. I'm just going to jump in and see how things go. Okay. Move with left stick, control camera with right stick. Pretty standard controls. I imagine it's not going to be anything abnormal. Let's change camera settings over the main menu. Oh, this feels wrong. I don't know how to describe it. But the character feels heavy. So, okay, so you're talking. So, instead of the character moving the second you press the button, it moves, like, a moment after. So, for instance, if I touch it now, he will just turn around. If I hold it and then he'll run, it feels wrong. Not a great start, but maybe you'll get used to it. I don't know. Okay. Hold R2 to perform a psychokinesis attack. Consume the psychokinesis gorge to control surrounding objects and attack. Okay, that's cool. Is that it? Can I fight someone else? Lock onto an enemy with R3. Yep. Looking in the stick. Scummy pool. Great name. Lock onto enemies. Hold R2 to defeat. And then yeet. And then yeet. Okay. Psychokinesis. Really cool aspect of the gameplay. Already really enjoying it. Not a fan of the music though. He literally fights using his power psychokinesis and with his sword. The attack range of his sword is short, but he can overwhelm enemies with his fast attack. Yep. This is weapon attacks with X slightly charges the psychokinesis gauge. Use a mix of weapon. Okay. So it's a pretty standard bar of you run out of psychokinesis. The more you use it and you refill it by general attacks. Okay, so we have a basic dodge. I like the death animation. Death animation is nice. I kind of wanted to look at the enemy variety a little bit. What are these? Scummy Pendu. Oh. Um, RB. Okay, don't like that, but that's fine. A and X is a rising slide. That's cool. Come here. Come here, yes. <laughs> Scum. So, the combat is definitely going to take some getting used to. See, what I was expecting was something as fluid as something like Devil May Cry, because obviously Devil May Cry system is amazing. This is a little bit heavier, and like I don't hate it, but it doesn't feel amazing. Like, I'm hoping, like, I want to say it's just the demo, but I mean, it's a demo of the final game. I definitely think the psychokinesis idea, though, really cool extra. And I definitely can see some cool, like, combo showcases going off from it. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got just general conversations, brain messages. We've got story paths, a brain map, which is the massive node tree, which um, I don't think we've had a look at as of yet. The brain map shows you what skills you've learned and allows you to earn new skills by using BP. Let me have a look. So we've got enhance, expand, support, and brain drive. I think brain drive is like the rage mode. Increase damage out to enemies that are knocked down. Attack 5%. Do I actually have any BP? I have 10. Look at that. Hold Minai's performer down with that. Looks amazing. Yes, please. Slam attack. Uh, boring. Can perform three consecutive psychokinesis follow up attacks and rush follow up attacks. Ooh. Go on then. Form an aerial dash. Shots cooldown. Brain driver time born. And just increase damage. Okay, so the 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 <laughs> the skill tree is fairly simple. Ha, here we go. We finally get a decent look at the character screen. So obviously we got the main character. Um these are just simple stat buffs. So it's basically gear. Pretty much what I think. Oh, oh I don't have any owned apparently. Okay. Yeah, pretty standard. I think that's what most people were expecting. Just simple plugins. I was kind of hoping it would be more like near automatas, but apparently not. So we have our teammates as well. Who also have different stats. This I was not expecting that, honestly. So we can get different weapons and different stats and gear for our party members. Interesting. I did not expect that one. You are literally just using a pair of weights. Okay. And visuals. So that's just visual stuff. Oh, Okay, so there are costumes and accessories, and they actually look quite nice. I hate the tail. I love the feather cape, though. That looks dope as hell. Can you equip it as well? You can. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so customization, I'm more impressed by. I was expecting it to be very boring, or to just be a simple outfit change. It's not. It seems a lot more interesting. Here's a ton of items. So these are weapons, outfits, what else we got? Battle items, these are consumables, weapons, plugins, visuals, materials. I think there's a crafting element to the game, I don't remember. And here's the party, so we got this chap, we got this lass, we got him, this lady, and this boy? So his special is teleportation, she does clairvoyance, sclerokinesis, and pyrokinesis and psychokinesis. So she's fire, earth, wind, maybe? So everyone has their own sort of assigned element by the seems of things. Right. That looks surprisingly good. Okay, well that's rude. So let's carry on and actually play the game. Okay. <laughs> SAS is a brain-to-brain -brain connection with virtual cable that allows you to temporarily use allies' powers. SAS menu is displayed in the lower right of the screen during battle. Pressing RB plus any of the face buttons will activate the SAS entered into each slot. Okay, so it's, it's, it's a simple skill system. But borrowing by pyrokinesis flames engulf weapons and PK objects for the attack. Okay, so... So this one just gives me the attribute. Oh, and you can tag in your teammates. Okay. Now that outside of the basic tutorial, the game feels a lot better. I still think the character feels a tad heavy. And I'm not a massive fan of the controls. But that's probably because I don't know the controls. And I've been playing the game for like 10 minutes. So the game definitely has flair. Let's put it that way. The game has a lot of flair. And I think that's where most of the fun comes in. 
I would definitely say that's where most of the fun comes in. I am a little concerned with the environment. There you go. I'm a little concerned about the environment and the levels. This, so far, it is very plain. At the minute, it is literally just open streets, back alleys, filled with stuff to throw. And that's great, because, you know, the combat is clearly a fair bit involved with everything that's going on. But the, there's just nothing exciting about, you know, all of the environment so far just being flat land, flat land, oh, and more flat land. It's kind of it's dull, unfortunately. Hopefully it improves. Yeah, going back to my original point. Quite concerned about the lack of interest there is at the minute in terms of the environments. Just nothing about it is really exciting. But, you know, it's a demo. It's only the start of the game. Maybe it gets more interesting. I don't like to be too pessimistic until given a, a, a bit more time with the game. Oh, so I've only just noticed that your allies are actually in the field with you? Which is cool. I wasn't expecting that. Like, I just assumed that depending on who you had assigned with you, they would allow you to have those certain abilities attached to your character. But no, they do actually follow you around and they are poignant to the squad by the looks of things. For anyone wondering, nice, you will be very happy to know the game does not feel like Code Vein. From the two hours I've played of Code Vein, it feels nothing like this. Which is great. Was not was not wanting another Souls-like. Feels nothing like a Souls-like. I will say, I'm taking damage like a bitch, but that might not be the game's fault. That might just be me being bad. I tell you what, visually the game looks fantastic. Which is great, because it just makes me really happy to see that Tales of is getting the same treatment of finally having updated modern day graphics. My only concern with the game that I can immediately think of is it feels like 30 FPS at the minute. It does not feel like 60. And I'm hoping that's just consoles and not PC. Yeah, it does... Like, I imagine this would feel even better at 60 FPS, which is why I'm really hoping they haven't got the game locked to 30, because that will not be good. That will be... that will be rough. Okay, so it's safe to assume that... Uh, <laughs> safe to assume that character design and creature design is off the bloody chain, which, you know what, I'm okay with. I know a bunch of people were complaining about everything looking like... <laughs> uh, I know a bunch of people worried that, you know, the enemy design was solely flowers on legs. Which, honestly, I don't... I've even not noticed in the demo. Or they've replaced. For the sake of the backlash that everyone was like, is everything seriously just plants with legs like are you serious but i don't think i've actually spotted any or i just just haven't paid enough attention to the creature design because it is just bad crap crazy how about we turn this on i love that most of the attacks are like just done by the gun at the gun by the sword and he just like <laughs> lets it go and then it flies Nah, they're fine. Don't worry about it. Also, I don't know why 
But they appoint you the captain leader for this mission, even though you're a rookie. But you know, that's fine. It's a, it's it's anime. It's fine. Speaking of the anime, I wonder if that's actually going to be any good. You hold still while I drop this on your head. Okay, so clearly environment is going to be a massive deal during fights, which, you know, you can kind of expect. And throw it again. And maybe dodge. Like I said, perfect dodges do slow down time. Okay, so it is very, very Bayonetta-esque. Right, for the sake of, you know, seeing if the two characters are actually different from one another, I'm going to take a quick look at Kasane's side of things. I'm not going to go through her whole thing until the very end, otherwise... Otherwise, the video will be unnecessarily long just for a bit of information. But it sounds, it looks like she's got some of the same characters. Well, actually, not technically. He was in the story beats of the last one. But he wasn't actually playable. Uh, let's see. Can I not look at her items? Oh, no, I can swap them about. Uh, let me look at the items. So, instead of a sword, she uses, like, flying knives? You know, like you do. What do you use? Batons, chainsaw, crossbow, and a knife. So, nothing too amazing. I don't know if the visuals have carried over. So, we've got weird goggles and a breastplate. Okay. So, different settings by the looks of things. Nothing to change. Let's have a look at her brain map. I'm guessing it's relatively similar, but with different attacks. Increases... No, nope. I want to see if she has different attacks I can use after a perfect dodge to perform a weapon attack. Sure, why not? Yep. Uh, what's this? Conform. Nope, we did that for the last dude. Hold Y to perform a downward strike. Okay, so by the looks of things... Execute an aerial follow-up attack by using R2. Okay. So by the looks of things, combat-wise... Gameplay wise, it'll be very similar. Thankfully, their gameplay isn't going to be completely identical, at least animation wise. And it looks like their party members are going to be a little bit different from one another. So, hopefully, it's not a case of just experiencing the same team all the time. It looks like it'll be two separate teams, but. Maybe it'll change later on. Who knows? Um, I I already killed it. Why did you bother? <laughs> so the knives seem to have a bit more range. SAS is a brain. To yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. Right. So what are my options? Um, electrokinesis, Kasane. So instead of fire, it's electric. Oh. Oh my! I already enjoy her gameplay so much more. So, by the looks of thing, Kasane does a lot more hits per attack, and it feels so good. Feels really good. Only concern? Those animations. Definitely going to get tiresome after a little while. Let's see what else we got. We've got invisibility. I go invisible. I, I could have told you that. Duplication. I don't know what it has duplicated. Oh, does it mean I throw... <gasps> it means I throw more than one item. Okay. So far, I'm already more interested in the kit she starts off with. What about the last one? Hyper Velocity. Am I faster? Oh wait, it slows down time. This... Her, honestly, her gameplay is way more fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> it feels so much better 
better playing as Kasane. Like, don't get me wrong. I can't remember his name. Randall? No, that's her surname. Disengage. I have a little bit difficult to judge distance, but that's just because I'm bad. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, the other kid was fun to play. Hers is definitely more fun, just because of... I don't know how many extra hits she does as a result. And also her starting squad. Quite fun, I must admit. Also, she has a double jump. I don't know if the last dude did. Maybe I just didn't press... Oh. Oh, my bad. To cut uh, a long story shirt, short, she is a lot more enjoyable to play than the male character. At least from my uh, early impressions, she was a lot more enjoyable to play. So it seems like he does more heavier hits and smaller combos, whereas hers tend to be a bit larger with the current squad mate she's equipped to. But I mean, again, this is just the demo. So... To wrap up my opinion of the Scarlet Nexus demo, it has left me in one of two minds. The overall gameplay loop of combat feels really good, and I bet there are going to be some amazing showcase videos made as a result of it. The exploration of the world, though, quite dull, not very interesting. That's just the impression I'm getting from the demo, but the world seems very flat in terms of exploration and very linear. And I'm not, I don't have a big issue with linear, but it has to be, you know, there needs to be something there while you're exploring the linearity of the world. So far, there isn't much to it. The tutorial, honestly, the tutorial, you can just skip and go straight into the game because the game then proceeds to tell you what you needed to learn from the tutorial anyway and the tutorial was so slow and boring and it felt bad yeah controls they're gonna take a bit of getting used to i was really hoping they would be as fluid as something like devil may cry they are not um it is not a souls like thankfully you do take a fair bit of damage when you're getting your ass handed to you doesn't make it souls like so glad it's not a Souls like. The character customization seems relatively in depth. That was surprising. It seems like there's going to be a fair amount of costume options, which is going to be quite nice. There is going to be different weapons to equip, as we already knew. Didn't know the party would have different weapons to equip, though. So that's interesting. They're out on the field with you. Again, surprising. Wasn't expecting that. And lastly, I would say, is the skill tree. Um, it seems relatively simple and basic and easy to get to grips with. Nothing too impressive, it's just your simple, here you go, get this, do more damage, or here, get this, have a new skill, enjoy yourself. It's relatively simple, keeps, keeps things exciting, keeps things moving, without being overly complicated, which is kind of a shame, but... Is to be expected. The story, honestly, I wasn't paying too much attention to the story, mainly because I don't care when it comes to a demo. It doesn't matter. I'm here for the gameplay, first and foremost. If I don't like playing the game, I'm not going to care for the story. So, if I pick up the game, the story will then become a focus. But for now, the game feels really fun to play. Environmentally, though, very dull. Not great to explore. And... It's locked to 30 FPS, which is an issue because it does not feel amazing. So I'm hoping that the PC version isn't also locked to 30 FPS. Otherwise, there will probably be a riot on all, you know, platforms the game's released on. So hopefully the PC version does get 60 FPS. And hopefully the full version runs a little bit better than the Xbox One demo did. I can't speak for the PS4 version because it's not out yet. Whether it will run better, I don't know. But the game, frame rate wise, isn't impeccable. So hopefully the PC version can at the very least improve on that. For now though, what I've seen of Scarlet Nexus, I've enjoyed. I'm not overly amazed, but still, it was an enjoyable experience. And I would definitely be happy on picking up the game just to enjoy the story maybe a couple of times through. At least for the time being. Anyway. That's about my gist of the game so far. I've been James, the mayor of Jamestown. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, goodbye.